Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. So today's video is a little bit different. I've been having so much fun playing with fashion trends and being more confident in my fashion sense and styles like that. So I've put together some changes and tips that I made in my life and hopefully you guys can find that useful if this is something that you want to do. It's been so much fun. It's really just made fashion so much more interesting to me and I feel like trends and playing around with how I dress is way more accessible. So if this is something you guys are interested, just please keep on watching. So my first tip is accessorizing. This may or may not be new to you. I mean, back then I always knew that this was an option, but I really never bothered because I didn't think it made such a big difference. But now that I have collected a few pieces, invested in my collection, it's definitely so much fun. And I really feel like I'm kind of naked when I'm not wearing jewelry. So you guys can see my outfit now. I have gold hoops, I have three necklaces on, and I think it really just ties this whole outfit together. As for accessories, what I mean by that, just getting smaller items, be it a necklace, earrings, or a headband, a hair clip, a hat, even like some cute socks, or you know, like a bracelet or something like that, it really just makes your outfit more detailed, like you put more thought into it. So I wanted to share with you guys a brand that I've been loving recently. So everything that I'm wearing now is from Ana Luisa. They did send it to me and thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. I have worked with them before and they are a company that I love. So I had to include them in this portion of the video. So a few things that I love about Ana Luisa is their sustainable mission. So their jewelry is actually carbon neutral. And what I mean by that is that they offer offset 100% of their carbon emissions, starting with sourcing their raw materials all the way up to disposal. And what I love about their jewelry is that they have exceptional quality and they only use the best materials. So I wanted to talk about the items that I picked out. So these are the earrings that I am wearing. They are the Twisted Gold Hoop. And I really can't pick a favorite necklace because I love each and every one of these for different reasons. So of course I had to get a standard chain and I love that it has this little detail here where it has a little message and it says be you, which I think is so cute and so thoughtful. So this is their curb chain necklace. I really love this tiny gold lock. It is the gold padlock necklace. It's just so cute and I love that the chain is actually connected to the lock so it doesn't move around on your neck so it just stays put which is so useful and lastly is this super dainty cute butterfly necklace and she's just so cute i love her anna luisa also uses really eco-friendly shipping material so everything came in this really cute compact box i also love that it fit in my mailbox so all of my items came in these really cute pouches so actually everything that i picked out goes so well together. Anna Luisa is running an exclusive Black Friday sale. So if you guys are interested in their limited offers, be sure to check out the link in the description box. So that's my first tip. It definitely adds so much detail to your outfit. So my second tip is thrifting. Thrifting gives you the ability to try out trends for a really cheap price. You do have to go out and go through a bunch of duds before you find your item. From all of the items that I've thrifted, I feel a really special connection to them because I found them and I rehomed them and every time I wear them, it is like custom. And every time I wear them, I'm pretty sure that no one else has that item because I thrifted it. I'll also try to include pictures of outfits that I put together with thrifted items. So thrifting is a really good way to try out trends that are popular now without having to invest too too much money into it so of course we're trying to stay on top of trends you are always ever consuming so my third tip is definitely to go through your closet and figure out the items that you aren't currently wearing and put them up for sale so you can hopefully give those items a new home and have some funds in the bank to put towards items that you actually will wear. I have done this. I have listed a bunch of items on my Poshmark and thank you for all of you guys who did purchase from that. And with that, I have more room in my closet and I have some money in the bank to put towards items that I want to try out. 
So if you guys follow through all the trends and you guys have these extra funds in the bank, you might want some help on what to wear, what to get, and how to style items. So my fourth tip is actually get inspired. Follow creators that you like their style and their page. And also there are dedicated Instagram pages for specific aesthetics. I'll definitely include my favorites in the description box down below so please be sure to check that out and another platform i've been loving and have been trying to get into is pinterest pinterest is really good at giving you like related pictures to stuff so if you like one image they will show you similar images to that and you just go down a rabbit hole of a bunch of pictures that you like and then you pin everything and then you have a bunch of pins it's just a lot of fun and yeah just to feature a few creators that i've been loving of course my friend yu yan i think she's it's yu yan across all platforms here's her instagram Instagram page. She's super cute, super stylish, and all of her outfits are just perfect. I've also been loving Emma Leger. Here's her Instagram. She has really aesthetic photos and she's really good at like putting them together and making a really nice feed. So I definitely take a lot of inspo from her. And yeah, just like pop in some Instagram feeds that I've been loving and I'll link them down below so you guys can check them out as well. My fifth tip is hairstyles. So kind of the same thing with accessorizing. I've been changing my hair for different kinds of looks. Sometimes I wear it straight, sometimes I wear it curly like this. I've also been liking to try different hairstyles, like tying it. So one of the hairstyles you guys have been asking me about, it's really simple, so I'll just do it really quick. I grabbed a hair clip, which is really all you need. With the way my hair is cut, um, my fringe will come out anyway, so I will just separate that hair and then grab all of my hair in the back. This is where the end of my hair is, so it's at the top. So I just take the hair clip and run it through the top of my hair and close it into my bun. It's really all I do for this hairstyle. So just whatever hairstyles have been working for you. I really want to get like those small elastics and like do small ponytails like out of my hair. I feel like different hairstyles give your outfit like a different look. So yeah, I've definitely been having a lot of fun with that. I'm just gonna take it down for consistency. So definitely get some inspo and play with your hair, see what kind of hair styles look good on you. I think recently curtain bangs have been like a huge trend. My fringe is pretty short, so I think I can like do it, but it's not too, too dramatic. I think this is a really good tip because you don't have to spend any money on just tying your hair a different way or clipping it up or braiding certain parts of your hair, yet you can have a completely different look. And my last tip is kind of like a guideline. I came across it in a TikTok, but essentially it's like a model tip concept that each of your items are worth a certain points and you should stay within a certain range of points so your outfit doesn't look like it is too little or your outfit doesn't look like there's too much going on. So I think the amount of points is between the six and eight range. So for an example, if I was wearing shoes, right? The shoes would count if they're like regular looking shoes, if they're super extra shoes, definitely count them as two points so if I'm wearing shoes it would be one point my pants are one point my top is one point my necklace is one point and then my hoops are one point and then the hypothetical purse would be one point so let's add them up so one two three four five six so six points I'm in the range of six to eight points I know this concept is a bit trivial but it's really been helping me figure out if I should add an item or take an item off or if my outfit is just perfect the way it is. So yeah, I try to include some like examples of what I mean by like six to eight points with complete outfits. These tips have really helped me be more organized in my life. Like I've been able to get rid of clothes that I don't wear anymore, put money towards items that I actually want, be more confident in my style, and just have fun, you know, just have fun with fashion and everything like that. Thank you guys so much for giving me compliments and stuff like that. It's definitely helped me build my confidence and you know just wear what I want to wear, rock it. And I think with that I'm going to end the video so if you guys liked this video please give it a like. If you're new here and would like to see more from me please consider subscribing and as always I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!